In this video, I'm going to walk you through getting set up to use Sawtooth Software's survey hosting system. To get started, first head to sawtoothsoftware.com, mouse over services, and click on the survey hosting link. The first thing that you'll need to do is to create a new account. Fill out the form with your email address, a password, and from the account type drop-down box, choose the academic option. A box will show up below with a spot for you to enter an academic code. Your academic institution would have received your code in an email when they purchased the academic subscription. Once you fill out the rest of the form and read through the terms and conditions, click on the Create Account button. You'll receive an email within a few minutes that will confirm that your account has been created. Once your account has been created, you can enter your account information to sync SSI Web with your hosting account. You can get to the Web Server Management area by clicking on the globe icon or by going to Field Web Server Management. Enter your email and password that you used when you signed up for the account. To create a new project, click on the New Project link. SSI Web will open your browser and automatically log you into your hosting account at sawtoothsoftware.com. To create a project, you'll first need to enter a project name and then choose a password. Both the Academic Lab License and the Academic Research License allow you to collect up to 250 respondents for free. The Academic Research License allows you to exceed that 250 limit by providing a credit card. Additional options, such as a custom domain name or using SSL security on your server, are available for additional charges. If I scroll down a bit, you'll notice that the project name, Academic Test, becomes a prefix for the Cloud SSI domain name. You'll next need to enter a total number of respondents estimated to complete the survey and an estimated project end date. The total number of respondents is used to give you a price quote should you choose to exceed the 250 free respondents, and the estimated project end date is used so that we can send you reminder emails about closing down your survey. Once you've filled that out, scroll down and click Add Project. A server will be configured and you'll receive an email confirmation, usually in just a few minutes, that the server is ready for use. Back in SSI Web under the Web Server Management area, you should be able to click on the drop-down box for hosting projects, and your server will be displayed. Choose the server and then click on the Upload Survey to Server button. SSI Web will take care of all the heavy lifting and upload all your files and set the permissions correctly. Once the survey is done uploading, you'll get a Study Links pop-up that will tell you the Start page of your survey, the Login page to your Administrative Module, and then a one-click link example that you can use if you are passing in additional variables. In this particular example, I had a panel ID value set up in the software. Additionally, you can get the same thing by logging back into your hosting account, clicking on the Projects link, and then clicking on the Get Links option. If you have any questions about using SSI Web or Sawtooth Software's academic hosting environment, please send us an email at support at sawtoothsoftware.com.